304 and 316 are the most common grades of stainless steels produced, and while they look visually similar, they are easy to identify and sort with the right technology. Hi, I am the Alloy Geek, and in this video, we learn how to identify and sort 304 and 316 stainless steel. You've probably come across 304 and 316 stainless steel without even knowing it. In fact, 304 represents about half the global stainless steel production by itself, with 316 right behind as the second most commonly produced stainless steel. If you've clicked on this video, then you probably want to know, how do I sort my 304 and 316? In the next part of this video, we use handheld technology to identify 304 and 316 while diving into some of their chemical differences. Handheld LIBS technology is shown in this video, which can quickly and safely identify your stainless steel in only a few seconds. I wanted to pause here and just say, Handheld XRF does a great job as well. Both technologies are available for purchase by clicking the links in the description of this video. I've done a quick analysis of each alloy to show how quickly you can identify and sort your 304 and 316. First, take note of the great identification in both alloys. I've circled that on the screen, as we have a good match here in each case. And now we can see both alloys match the chemistry aims shown on screen. Now to understand how a metal analyzer identifies these alloys, let's take a closer look at their chemical compositions. So as we take a look at the chemistries, we can see we really only need three elements, chrome, nickel, and moly. Both chrome and nickel are important to identify the 304 and 316 stainless steel family. However, these elements have some chemical overlap between their compositions. Let's highlight nickel and chrome in yellow for now. Notice how 316 contains 2% moly where 304 contains none. Moly is your primary sorting element when sorting 304 and 316. So let's highlight moly in green. We are essentially looking for about 2% moly versus the absence of moly in 304. This makes 304 and 316 easy to identify and sort for most handheld metal analyzers. Without the right technology, 304 and 316 are two austenitic stainless steels that are easy to misidentify. But with the right technology, you can identify them both in seconds. 316 is typically used in applications where the improved corrosion resistance from that 2% moly is required. Mixing these alloys up and using 304 by accident can cause the parts to fail in the field. These failed parts can lead to expensive breakdowns, downtime, injuries, or even lawsuits. The flip side of using 316 in place of 304 may simply increase the cost of your components. As you just saw, anyone can sort their 304 and 316 with the right tools. I have also included links below where you can find the right metal analysis equipment to test your metals. Click here to learn about the different families of stainless steels. If your organization works with metals and you would like my help in finding the right solution to identify and sort the metals you work with, please reach out using the information found in the description of this video.